Well, folks, you're welcome. And I just want to get your focus for the next 10 minutes because what I'm going to do is to get you informed and also get you well into the entertainment industry on what is happening. The name is Ivy and the show is Showbiz Now. <laughs> I'll only act in crude movies if the movies have future. And this comes from Abraham Attar. Ghanaian US-based actor Abraham Attar has revealed that he will only act in crude movies if only the movies have future. The actor made this shocking revelation in an interview with radio and TV personality Abeku Santana on the Atu show over the weekend on UTV. Well, he said that he is ever ready to work with any Komodo producer if he goes through the script and realizes that the movie has future and can be on an international market since Netflix is operative in Ghana as well. Well, Ibrahim Atar, who is an ambassador for the free SHS, that is the Free Senior High School, also disclosed that he will soon be embarking on giving sanitary paths to ladies and other items to students who may not be able to afford them. He revealed that his readiness to do this each year to new students entering into the secondary education. And I quote what he said, I don't get any money for being the ambassador for the free SHS and also donating shoes to students. Ibrahim Atta said that. Well, having 20 wives wouldn't be a bad idea. That is coming from Akometo. <laughs> well, coming with actor Gwesi Wedi, popularly known as Akometo, has made his intentions to tackle the influx of single motherhood uh, by marrying women in addition to his wife. Well, making a reference to Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1, which reads, and I quote, in the days seven women will tackle one man and say we will eat our own food we'll provide our own clothes only let us be called by your name take away our disgrace well the comic the actor suggested that christian men should consider polygamy as an answer to the prophecy according to him monogamous marriages might pose a challenge in the near future taking into consideration the biblical prophecy well, he based his assertion on the fact that the worldwide statistics shows that there are more women than men. And I quote, I want to help address the situation. Therefore, the men who are religiously inclined to monogamy and will not want to fulfill the Bible prophecy, I will not sit back and watch my female counterparts suffer. Thus, husbands who will not want to marry extra wives can give them to me, maybe to a sum of 20. I'll accept it. That is what he declared. Well, Acrobato, we are... Okay, let, let's see if you can do 20 women. Uh, at least the wisest man on earth who has ever lived on the surface of earth had 1,000 women. Wow, Charlie Solomon, that was something else. <laughs> let's go to the front front. And Oliver Proudlock is engaged to long-term girlfriend Emma Louise Connolly. Well, the Made in Chelsea star confirmed the news on his Instagram page by sharing a loved up selfie of himself and his new fiance and a huge engagement ring alongside the upload. The 29 year old told his 724K followers that she said, yes, she is making an honest man out of me. Greatest moment of my life. Well, it seems that the pair were in Gothenburg celebrating their four year anniversary when the clothing designer popped up the question. Well, that is for the couple, and we're giving them a thumbs up. And Orlando Brown is also wanted in Vegas for misconduct again. Orlando Brown needs Siri, Google, or Alexa, or something else that is going to remind him to turn his ass to the Vegas Cup since he's already forgotten that he needs to get his set ass into court. Well, a clerk with the Las Vegas Justice tells TMZ that Orlando was supposed to be appear in court on Thursday for his drug possession case, but never showed up. So the judge issued an, a, a warrant for his arrest. TMZ broke the story on Orlando when he was arrested and booked for felony narcotic possession alongside with misdemeanor charges on drug paraphernalia and resistant arrest. Seems that Orlando hasn't learned from his I mean, last arrest. The last time he was were, um, warranted out for his arrest just four months ago. Bounty hunters also stormed his Vegas home and dragged him out at gunpoint. He was in his underwear. Well, a friendly tip. Put some pants on and get your ass to court Orlando. Well, obviously the police uh, didn't talk to you, right? Well, this was a, this, this was a, 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 a
what's wrong with you? You're Warren. Yes, sir. Out of LA County. Okay. You got a possession. You have a PC 148, PC 243, and you have a HS 11377A PC. Bro! So at the end of the day, you have some warrants. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. So at the end of the day, you have these warrants you're picked up, and this is why you're going back to LA County. Okay, thank you. Okay. In my underwear, bro. What's your name? Sir. You tell me now, or we're going to go ahead and fill. This was, here's the deal. This is disrespectful. You left. This Listen is... to me, you f You left California. No. It's a felony when you flee. I didn't flee. Well, you, what, what are you doing here then, brother? You got a I'm warrant for your arrest. You're fucking least... lost. You need help. And let's get to the top 10 sci-fi movies of all times. And making it to number six, we have the 1927 movie Metropolis. And making it to number five, we have the 1982 Blade Runner. I need your deck. This is a bad one, the worst yet. There was an escape from the off-world colonies two weeks ago. Six replicants, three male, three female. They slaughtered 20... A Blade Runner's job is to hunt down replicants. Manufactured humans you can't tell from the real thing. What's this? Roy Batty. Probably the leader. There was just one outfit making replicants that superhuman. The Terrell Corporation. Mr. Deckard, Dr. Eldon Terrell. I don't get it, Tyrell. Commerce is our goal here at Tyrell. More human than human is our motto. I was looking for six replicants. Then Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back from 1980, makes it to number four. Now, the creators of the biggest smash hit of all time bring you the next episode in the Star Wars saga, The Empire Strikes Back. Continuing story of our band of heroes, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo, C-3PO, R2-D2, and Chewbacca. And introducing Lando Calrissian. It's an epic of romance. Well, 3, 2, and 1 will come up when KMJ turns up at 12 to 12.30. Many thanks going out to all of you who indulge me for the next, for the, for the 10 minutes that I've been on. That's as Joy Prime, and we are always giving you real entertainment. Showbiz Now is always filling you up with what is current in the world of entertainment. Well, 12 o'clock, we'll be back, and then we'll be giving you all the info. Yeah, and y'all, and Bobby have come back together. <laughs> <laughs>